I'm Hugh Collingbourne, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. I'll be presenting this series of tutorials on programming the Adobe Flex framework with ActionScript. In this tutorial, I want to explain briefly what ActionScript is and how you can use it to create a simple application to run inside a web browser. In its original form, ActionScript was a simple scripting language used to animate graphics. But in the current version, ActionScript 3, it's quite a powerful object-oriented programming language which is supported by a big and complex class library, the Flex Framework, for programming all kinds of general purpose applications. I'm going to be using Sapphire Steel Software's Amethyst, a Visual Studio IDE for Flex development, but you can use some other IDE or editor if that's what you prefer. Let's start by looking at a very simple ActionScript program. If you're using Amethyst, you'll be able to create a user interface by dragging and dropping components such as a button or text input fields, as I've done here. Behind the scenes, the layout of your application will be automatically generated in a variant of XML called MXML. If you're not using an IDE with a visual designer, you will have to create your user interface by entering the MXML definition longhand. The MXML code can also contain bits of ActionScript. Commonly, this will be the name of ActionScript functions, such as calculate totals here. This function will be executed when a specific event occurs. In this case, that will be the mouse click event on the button. The function itself can either be written in a separate ActionScript code file, or, as I've done here, it can be included in the C data section between the script tags in the MXML file itself. In this function, I've declared three number variables, subtotal, tax and grand total. The subtotal variable is the numeric value of the text entered into the subtotal text box. The value of tax is calculated at 15% of the subtotal and the value of grand total is simply the subtotal plus the tax. Finally, the calculated values are converted to strings and displayed in the appropriate text input text boxes. If you are new to ActionScript, don't worry about the details of this code for now. I'll explain ActionScript syntax in later tutorials. ActionScript has to be compiled before it can be executed. In Amethyst, I can do that by selecting debug start without debugging. The code is now compiled into a file with the extension SWF, and this is loaded into a web page which I am now ready to try out. Here I'll enter 100 and click the button. As you can see, my ActionScript function executes and displays the results. In the next tutorial, I'll be looking at the essential features of the ActionScript language itself.